Aries, hello. Welcome to your reading, love reading, focusing from mid-December till around about, say, let's make it 15 January 2021. Um, remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates. If you're on the cusp, I recommend that you look at both readings so you get a you know very fair sort of representation from the two readings. Um, for those of you always supporting my channel, thank you so much. Um, if you're new to it, welcome. My name is Adrian H. Nelson. I'm intuitive healer. I practice holistic wellness. I'm also a spiritual regression hypnosis practitioner. And I'd also like to say thank you very much to AC Digital Marketing Solutions, link down below in the description for the beautiful graphic design. Okay, let's get cracking. So I'm going to start for you with an oracle card. We're going to do your tarot and we're going to end up with a message from the universe. Okay, let's see what we've got for you, Aries. Ooh, the land between. Um, and you actually got two cards, which is perfect. So the land between and you also got uncharted seas. Okay, so... Um, this is you actually, um, I like this. This is that energy where you're sort of like freshly in love, you know, um, <laughs> or, or maybe, you know, you guys just reconciled or something like that. But this is that very fresh new connection sort of energy where the world's just a beautiful place and, you know, the birds are tweeting so much more beautifully and, uh, you know, the sky is blue and the sunshine is more sort of radiant and that sort of thing. Um, it is somehow, I feel that for, especially for those of you that are with someone or this is the energy that's surrounding you at the moment, um, it's like, you know, pointing north, but this is a different sort of joy. You might be with someone that you don't sort of, you know, it's, it's a bit of an unusual choice for you, you know, not a sort of um, personal partner, you know, connection that you would generally go with. That's very interesting. But you feel that this is good for you. It's almost like, you know, you might have had this really high sort of expectations before. But I also feel that for some of you, your expectations were incredibly high just because you didn't feel ready for love. So you couldn't find who you were looking for, you know, or stay with who you were looking for. And there was always a sort of problem. But um, it's also because you weren't quite ready for it. And now you've healed. And now you're looking at life in a much more healed, healthy sort of way than you may have looked at it before. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, cards coming out for you. I'm going to share them for you just now. I'm going to show you just now what we have. Interesting energy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nine of Wands. <coughs> Sorry. Found your spark and healed from the past. Okay. Um, this is actually you being very sort of brave, you know, in a sense like, Listen, this is my person. This is my connection. This is my life, you know. These are my choices. You might have probably lived very much by sort of like a voice in your head. Um, maybe probably like from your mother or some sort of authority figure. Um, could it also be from a bad relationship in the past and you sort of moved away from that. All right. In the recent past, you've got the Four of Swords. You've got the Empress. And you have got the Seven of Wands. In the current energy, there's the Three of Cups. So things are going really nice. The Four um, the Emperor there, and the Four of Pentacles. Going nice, but yeah, maybe, you know, it's almost like it's it's almost like it's like real commitment time, and you're like, oh, you know. Um, forward, going forward, Two of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Two of Wands. Right. I do, however, see you going for this connection, because um, it's very different from how it might have been before, you know. Um, then the recent parts with the Four of Swords, you needed some time out, you needed some time out for your heart to heal, um, for you to become ready to sort of just be in the space where you could be happy again, where you could allow yourself to feel sort of like, you know, love and, and even in all other areas of life. Some of you may become incredible work, um, work sort of aholics, um, but you were in the space of aligning yourself there with the energy of love, with sort of like the good luck energy of the universe. Um, it's like you were in the process, you've really put in the work here, we were in the process of becoming the version that you understood yourself, that you, you know, needed to become. And it took a lot of inner work, um, you know, it took a lot of sort of like finding that inner sort of power within yourself. Um, because for some of you, you were just, you were sort of lost there, you know, you were like, um, no reason, no sort of 
passion to live so for many of you you had to really sort of you know incredibly kind of fake it until you made it and you weren't even sure if you were going to make it but yet where you are at the moment um things are sort of flowing things are sitting quite beautiful in your space in your power um it's like the universe is really on your side um but it's it's sort of decision time it's time to decide to you know to settle down to really do this thing and you're like yeah you know, like, um, can't we just continue having fun? You know, can't we just um, keep it lighthearted and keep it easy? You know, why do we need to make it a thing? Why do we need to sort of give it a label type of thing? Um, and then so going forward, interestingly enough, it's, it's almost like you are the one that then actually says, you know what? This might be actually really really nice you know um it's like you're getting this inside of this is when you were manifesting there in the recent past and when you were becoming ready this is you realizing this is what you're becoming ready for and i did have this for you i think it was like two or three weeks ago as well this is you making commitment and there's a, there's a definite possibility of moving away here, yeah. you know, even if it's moving down the road, moving a different home, but it might be quite a, a much longer sort of movement, um, you know, possibly a, a broad, different state, different town, different city. Okay. Um, let's see. So let's look at the nine of wands, which is your overall energy. Let's look at this first, see what we got. So we've got the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Tower. So the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Tower. Um, yeah, so the offer is very much on the table, and you're really thinking about this. And it's even like, like for some of you, and, and this is, it's, it's almost like, um, it, it's sort of like curious, because before you would have just been like, you know, no, 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 not my vibe, not my thing. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Very flattered. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, bye. No. But you're actually finding yourself considering this. You're actually finding yourself, um, you know, sort of changing your life. You know, um, say, for example, you've got like a fish tank or a dog or a cat or plants or whatever, um, you know, or a business, um, you know, uh, or opportunity where you can really grow. You're really finding yourself... Um, seriously looking into the idea that you could let this you know that you could sort of give all this up for so much more because it's almost like you're realizing it as a as a next sort of step and you're finding yourself very willing to sort of do that okay let's look at the empress there in your recent energy what is it that you will be coming ready for so we've got the knight of pentacles the four of wands and I thought that one was coming up. The Ten of Pentacles. You wanted everything. Um, now, this is the challenging part. Sometimes when we, you know, in a space, we're getting ready for something else and we sort of try to distract our mind, we get very into the thing that we distract our mind with. Um, you know, people start to depend on us, um, you know, and I feel that for you specifically, you may have become incredibly um, dependable. But in the same token, um, sort of not really having the sort of joy that you experienced from the situation before. Um, and that also has a lot to do with the moving away. You're very much in the mood for a fresh start, okay? Um, I'm going to draw just one card for the Seven of Wands. This one sticking up. Oh, there's two of them. So, Four of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So, yeah, this is you. Energy, true love, cup of love being offered to you. And, you know... It's almost like, and I don't want you all to take this wrong, but it's almost like for once you're really putting yourself first. Um, and you're like, you know, this is what I actually want. This is really what I need. Um, uh, and this is the decision for me to make. Because the other situation, whatever it is, the, the sort of coping energy that you had going on that you got so invested in, it's sort of beginning to become irritating. All right. I just want to draw a card for that as well. A strength card. You realize that it's time to move away. Okay, it's time to do the work. Now, let's look at this. I was going to say three of cups. Okay, this is way too many cards. Let's just put them all back again. So, you're going to look at, we're just going to draw a card for the three of cups in your current energy. I actually feel that, you know, once you sort of just kind of become clear about what it is that you want to have, you just speak up for the desires of your heart, you will have a lot more support than you do actually realize. 
there we go confirmed by the sun card all right so not to worry too much about that and let's look at this four of pentacles in your current energy let's look at this four of pentacles energy you've got the high priestess again um, so the high priestess is in your current energy at the moment clarifying the four of pentacles and remember in coming towards you is also the high priestess okay so the high priestess the magician and the eight of wands you can really make this situation work all right um this is not sort of like a you know like a little fallacy type of thing you've got going on in your mind you can actually make the situation work and make it work beautifully and make it work really really well all right um let's look at this two of cups it's a bit of an unconventional situation here or connection rather um and that's why there's some questions so the death card the nine of pentacles in the world this is you letting go of sort of like the version of your previous version you've you've outgrown this previous version of yourself the version that settles the version that is the victim the version that is you know okay with not being good enough that sort of like um pretty talks um on behalf of the partner um the the you've outgrown that version okay um, and because you have, you're beginning to see things in a much more clearer light. You're beginning to see what are the things that are really sort of touching your heart, lighting that world um, within you. And you really, you know, this is you peacefully actually releasing from the previous part into a new path. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a very good connection. It's, it's actually really, really good. All right. Let's look at the world. Oh, sorry, the High Priestess. But the world card is here. So since I said the world, let's draw just one card for the world. Two cards, apparently. So two of cups and, um, sorry, seven of cups and two of pentacles. Is it just going to be easy? No, there are teething problems. There are things that need to be done. But um, this is all going towards connection there with the two of cups. So we've got the three of pentacles coming out, the knight of wands and the lovers. Oh, wow. New beginning, choosing love. I really feel this moving. It's it's like you're making this connection, you're making this movement. It could very easily be dealing with a Gemini or a person who really sort of like embraces the joy of life. You know, this is sort of like your um, your shadow side in the sense that this is not the kind of person you would have gone for before. Um, but now that you're not looking, you're looking at um, sort of like um, possibility instead of sort of like reasons why things can't work, you get to say like, ah. Oh, this is not a bad idea you know maybe i should have tried this before so with this high priestess energy um followed by the two of wands let's see what is it that um, i'm going to draw one card for the high priestess seven of pentacles okay um hmm. this is this, this is cool and you know this is really sort of a very different approach from you might have, you may have had for things before where before you would have seen like okay so let's look at the situation and let's see what is everything that we have right now and tick all those boxes yes one thing right now and you realize this one thing can lead to everything else all right and that's a very different way of looking at things which is actually quite cool and then just ending off with this two of ones the page of ones came right out for you this is you making this decision this moving decision ace of ones Three of Swords, they, I definitely see movement here in your past. I see full commitment um, and I see you, whereas before you did that work to find a sort of like find a silver lining within yourself, you are now finding the second silver lining still within yourself, but because of the connection, all right? And I definitely see movement taking place for you here in the near future, but very positive movement, okay? Moving away from things and actually finding a compromise in ways, um, you know, how others support you, in ways that you might have sort of not foreseen before, you know, that you may have thought they were just like, okay, now nah, whatever. And they're like, no, 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 no. We really value you. Let's see how we can actually make this work. All right. And if that resonates for you, more than welcome to like, share, comment, and subscribe, Aries, which I'd really appreciate. Um, we're going to end off with a message from the universe. And let's look at, let's get a message from your person, okay? So you've got the King of Wands, the Judgment Card, and the Magician. Oh, this is beautiful. They really, really care about you. They are willing to give up everything for you. And that is actually what sort of places you in the same position. And... Um, they really want to make this work. They realize that they can actually make this work with you, which is 
which is very, very nice. This whole thing sort of like taking you by surprise after surprise. Um, and for all the wonderful seasons and celebrations and everything that you do, I hope that it's beautiful. I'll see you around next time.